All right, welcome to Keeper of the Mountain. Well, I moved my film studio, my little shop and slash film studio from the end of the house around to its own location where I could build a nice little fire pit next to it to demonstrate cooking and such. You know, I just am really happy about how this whole project worked out. I mean, I've, I've painted my shed, as you can see right there behind me. This is my studio where all the all the most of my films are made and there's the fire pit but why don't we take a look back at what i had to do to put it there you'll i'll show you what it was you know and how we cleared it and how we made room for it and what we did with all the things we found and it's it's quite kind of interesting so come on there'll be a couple videos on this and hope you enjoy them mm -hmm. Yep, there it is. I'd say that's about, I don't know, 15 feet, foot tall bramble, salmon berries, it's got blackberries, it's got grass, it's got wisteria, it's got everything in there. We're gonna remove it. All right, here's my chainsaw. I haven't used this in a while. Bought it for 40 bucks at a yard sale, bought a chain for it. Let's see if it still works. They have a safety right here. If it gets bumped, it locks the chain. And they had locked the chain and they didn't know you could unlock it by pushing this thing forward. And so they didn't think it worked, so they sold it for 40 bucks. So I'm gonna gas it up and see what happens. All right, so I got this mixed gas, it's mixed with oil, special oil for this, so it lubricates the little two cycle motor. You know, the best thing to do here is just spill gasoline over the, all over the saw while you're doing this so that the whole thing lights on fire and then you don't have to do the job. You have an excuse to get out of the work. Well, we won't do that today because I like playing with my saw. Anyway, this is the bar oil. Yeah, it needs bar oil. And as you can see, I have some bar and chain lubricant right there. So that's what it's for. And you pour that in there. Every time you put gas in, you check the bar oil. There we go. And we're not actually cutting trees down. We're just using it to clear brush because I'm too lazy to cut it with hand printers. And it's more fun to make noise. All right, so now it's got this little primer doohickey here. Just like on your lawnmowers right here, see that? You push that a few times to prime it. Get gas up in there. Start it. And hopefully it starts. Well, that's promising. Well, you can see how quickly that'll make pretty short work of a pile of brambles. And so it's not going to take a whole long, a lot of time to get this cut down to size. Then all the work is going to be hauling it all out. So I'm going to get after it. I'll show you the finished product when I'm done. Well, we're making some headway here, but you got to see what I found. When I was digging back in here, we've had a rodent problem running around here and, you know, like raccoons and rats and other sort of vermin like that and probably we figured this might be the problem look what i found back in here look at that there's garbage drug back down in there everything else probably a rat hole but you know what we'll probably have us a nice little fire in there at some point burn that sucker out yeah it's pretty cool but we're making some headway but look at the size of those blackberry stems I'll show you my hand here next to them give you an idea give you an idea just how big these things are you know I mean it's these are some stout branches that's why I'm using a chainsaw instead of a machete because man we know how to grow brambles around here and look at the spikes on these bad boys right here 
I mean, these suckers will put a hole in you. So, and my, and my arms are going to be all covered with little tiny holes here by the time I'm done. Mm -hmm.